uh, moving worlds that as a team, we are beyond excited to roll out to everybody. My name is Mark Orshovsky. I'm the co-founder and CEO of movingworlds.org. I'm joined on the line by a team uh, spanning at least three continents right now. Uh, sometimes I'm struggling to keep track. Myself, uh, Derek Nord, co-founder, uh, just landed uh, in Europe. Uh, I believe that's uh, Schiphol Airport right behind him. Um, and then, yep, all right, all right uh, too much time in airports. Uh, also joined by uh, Cole Huber, uh, based in Seattle, the director of our institute. Uh, Millie, uh, who directs our community. Uh, and uh, many of you have also known her as being the unicorn behind some of our impact team programs. Uh, she's currently in Cusco, Peru, fresh off the Machu Picchu Trail. Uh, Anna Phil is joining us from London. She's uh, our director of international partnerships. Uh, Alexandra, uh, currently in Medellin in Colombia, um, uh, newer to the team, uh, but, but thrilled to have her um, as one of our, our core program managers. Uh, Cami, uh, who has been with us, I believe the longest on the line here, uh, who, who really makes uh, not only our core Moving Worlds programs happen, but, but much more. Uh, and then uh, Mariusz, uh, our, our leader of our technical platform, uh, a few other key members, uh, not on the line. Uh, webinars don't always work for everybody, but um, really want you all to see some of their faces. This is the, a lot of the, the magic that um, enables your expert hearing experiences to happen. And so with that, we really want to, you know, all in, tell you about what, you know, we've really been working, I think in many degrees, has felt like a six month sprint to get live. But if you really go back, you know, starts, uh, you know, almost, almost a decade ago when, when the, the ideas for moving worlds really started. And so today what we're going to highlight are what are some of these updates? We're going to talk about some brand new community features. So no matter which program you're part of, you'll have access to. Uh, we're really excited to roll out new networking and learning opportunities. So we'll dive into those details. We'll further explain how this is going to really just result in more and better expert hearing projects. Uh, and then we'll also dive into what these enhanced programs actually are, how they uh, will impact you, uh, as well as pricing updates um, that will affect both new members um, and then also our existing membership. So for those of you who are joining us on Zoom, uh, again, this is also on Facebook Live, so if you're joining us from the Facebook world, hello. Uh, but if you're on Zoom, you will see that there is a button that says questions and answers. You can use that any time to submit a question. That will then open up a little Q&A panel and our team will interact with you uh, at that time. But now let's really get back into the essence of what we are working on to do here at Moving Worlds. And Almost every decision that we make here comes into this twofold mission of ours, which is how do we connect expertise to the parts of the world that need it the most? And then how do we provide life transforming experiences for those that give? And those are principles that when working well, go hand in hand together beautifully. And sometimes though, they can also be held in a little bit of tension together and that's why with every single placement we are obsessing over is the project scope done in such a way that the right skills match is being made are proper planning steps being implemented and is there a long-term focus in terms of impact in the field but at the same time we've also really been obsessing over well what does this mean for the expert here uh, how is this experience going to impact them in their own life the week that they get back a year after they get back, or like some of our experteers who jump in with stories afterwards, who, who uh, have used their experteering experience years later to create connections that have resulted in either a new job or I believe even in one case, a new partnership. But we won't focus on the love stories as much as we will on the impact stories, which is really the essence of what we do here. And I think it's summed up really well for the work we do in two of our hallmark pieces on Stanford Social Innovation Review. You know, the first is one that we published this year about how do we make sure that volunteers land with impact? Not just that they make an impact on their project, but the way we look at it is, will success still be in place and happening one year after the expert here has left? And then at the same time, for the people that go, are there ways that this experience can really transform and mobilize their own selves? And for this, we've published another article that 
while it has the word corporate in it because it's modeled after one of our corporate programs, really goes into the essence of what we provide at Moving Worlds, which is this, again, this twofold mission of expertise to the parts of the world that need it most while making sure that people that give have transformative experiences. And so to help roll out all of that, what we're gonna highlight today are what is new in the new moving worlds. So we had live trainings and case fake workshops, new community features, self-paced learning and planning guides to help you set your own uh, learning goals and outcomes as you go through your experience. We're rolling out an application model, there's enhanced programming, there's more community features, higher standards for projects. We're gonna dive into all of these in the upcoming slides. Now, many of you, uh, in fact, uh, based on analytics, have already been clicking around the website, and if you've done that, you'll see that, oh, there's some new design, there's some new language, there's some new text, um, and we're excited about that, but what we're even more excited about is what's behind that, right? And I think all of us have been at this place where we, we get to this point in our lives. We, we, we are, are passionate about doing something, whether that's solving a specific challenge or community or contributing to a specific goal or benchmark in the sustainable development goals. Or maybe it's about traveling or, or, or maybe it's something more personal, like a, like a career change, right? We have this internal passion, this pull to start moving. And that's oftentimes where we also get stuck, where we start asking questions of, gosh, well, what happens if I do this? Uh, one of our expert tiers, Anish, called it, um, you know, it felt like I was taking a big leap. I, I knew, I kind of walked myself to the edge, and then there was this big, scary leap that I had to take. And that's really what Moving Worlds does. We don't just want to walk you up to that ledge. And, and in fact, we don't even want you to jump off of it. We want to create a powerful experience that makes it easy and fills you with comfort and confidence in taking the next step for creating an impact, for exploring your own purpose drivers, and for developing the skills to grow as a, as a global leader. And in our new and enhanced platform, what you'll see is that we've obsessed not only in your expertiering matches, but also in guiding you through that entire journey. And so you'll see if you spend some time on our homepage that our platform will actually guide you into setting your own goals and ambitions, delivering more opportunities for training on best practices, not only in expert tiering, but also on other global leadership skills and dimensions. We'll, of course, as we have before, help you find the, the project that's best for your time and skills preferences. And with our new communities, you'll have access to peer-based support, and we won't just send you expert tiering, but you'll also get access to guides, resources, and tools to be more effective. Then you'll have the opportunity and, and even prompts from our system to, to reflect, to, to reintegrate, to help handle reverse cultural shock. And then with across our community, our social media, and our other outlets, we'll also help you share your story, amplify your impact, and then stay connected with our global network, which you know, is, is growing by the day and has already helped others with career connections and, and resume advice and even research for specific projects. Now, other things that you'll see, which is really, I think, the, the essence of Moving Worlds is, is a better search tool. This is one of the bigger advancements that we've made in addition to the, to the user experience, um, allowing you more power uh, over filters as well as the ability to as an example, save the different projects that you've been interested in, making it easier to come back and review your projects. But I think the, the you know, beyond the UX and the search tool of the website that already exists, there's some new things that we are really excited to tell you about that really take the Moving Worlds platform to the whole next level. And so for that, uh, Millie, I'm gonna hand the microphone over to you here. Uh, to talk a little bit more about how our global community is operating uh, and what users can expect. All right, thank you so much, Mark. Hello, everyone. Um, cheers from Cusco, Peru today. 
So as Mark mentioned, you know, like again and again, our members have shared how valuable the community connection of our impact team and our institute programs have been to their learning experience and growth. Having a group of like minded individuals to embark on this journey with them as to take a leap into this new path was uh, monumental. And so as a result, we're really excited to extend this community to all of our members and create more opportunities for networking, collaborative learning, professional support uh, for members between different programs. Like the saying goes, if you want to go far, go together. As each of us embark on our own journey of growth and purpose, we'll make it much further as a team supporting each other. Our Moving Worlds community platform is meant to be a connection hub for your learning, reflections, and professional development. So here you can see you can build your professional network and discuss the latest industry trends with knowledgeable peers. If you need a speaker for your next event, if you're on the job hunt and want to connect with others in the industry to learn more, you know, or even if you're traveling and you want an expertise to accompany on your, I don't know, Inca Trout track, for example, this is a place to make your ass and to give generously to each other. Um, here, if you can see <laughs> really quickly, uh, photos of that we've received from members all over the world, you know, like here we have Rachel and Michelle meeting up at the University of San Francisco to work on a human centered design project together. We have Ankita having a blast at Cape of Good Hope and Lynn in Cambodia working on sharing her knowledge of HCD with the organizations that she's working with abroad. And if you can go to the next slide, Mark. So Moving World was built around an expertising project with the goal of connecting passionate, mission-oriented professionals to impact-driven organizations. And over time, we've evolved to provide training to better prepare expertiers before they go into the field. Um, with the enhanced program changes that Mark mentioned, you'll have access to a wide variety of workshops, virtual lectures, meet and greets, et cetera. And what's more, the content is all self-paced through the community. Uh, many expertiers are, you know, Full, working full time, running their own startup or consulting business, attending graduate school full time, et cetera. And so with the community and the self-paced learning content, you can go at your own pace. All the while, you'll never have to feel like you're doing it alone. Um, taking your learning into real life and organize a live meetup anywhere in the world, <laughs> like the photo below, uh, or if you don't have another expertise in your city, it's not a problem. You know, with our community, you can hop onto Skype, Zoom, Google Hangout, whichever conferencing services you prefer, and have a virtual working date like the guys at the top. Um, fun hats are a bonus, always. <laughs> uh, before I hand the mic over to our director of institute, he'll dive a little bit more into the specific educational resources I've listed above. Um, does anyone have any questions related to community? Um, I'll take a couple questions here now, and then we can save the rest for the larger Q&A at the end. Alexandra, any questions coming through? <laughs> yes, so we had a couple questions come through. The first one, asks, what is the best way for a new member to make the most out of the community? You know, if there's a lot of information we have here and, you know, a lot going on based on the images, where would you suggest is a good place to start? Oh, that's a fantastic question. Thanks a lot, Alexandra. Um, so I may be speaking a little bit fast right now. Pardon me. Feel free to ping me afterwards if you want a more detailed explanation. But as a new member, a one of the best places to start, even before you do anything within the community, is to hop onto our main group. Introduce yourself. Let us know what you're all about, what you love, why you want to go expatriating, etc. Our community is about supporting each other, so which we can't really do unless we know what you're all about and how we can support you. Once you've introduced yourself, depending on uh, whether or not you intend to go expatriating within the next four months, I'll recommend different things. So if you're thinking about going expatriating within the next four months, the, one of the best places to visit within the community is the group called Find the Best Project. Hop on there, um, sign up for live one webinar or a planning session and get your ducks in a row. Get feedback on your profiles and figure out how to prepare for introduction calls or deciding on which projects to go on depending on your personal and professional goals as well as your experience level. And if you're not ready to go expertising yet, uh, one of the best things you can do as a new member of the community is to take a look at our various subject-based webinars that Cole is gonna talk about a little bit later on. Start acquiring um, new skills, level up in areas you're already familiar with through the virtual lectures and the collaborative working session, and even find an accountability group within the community to keep you on track. So these are the things I recommend as a new member to, to get started and make the most out of the community features. Any other questions? Awesome, thanks Millie. We've got one more that came through. 
Um, so this one is coming from an alumni and they're wondering, you know, as an alumni of a Moving Worlds program who's already gone expert cheering, um, what is the value of the community to them specifically? Ah, another great question. Thanks, Alexandra. So if you are an alum, first of all, welcome back. Thank you so much. Um, at Moving Worlds, we are more than just a project placement service. Personal and professional growth is a lifelong journey, as you all are aware of, and we want to support you at these critical junctures on this journey. So as someone who's gone expertising already, there's a lot of things, ways with which you can utilize the community to continue to support your professional growth. Um, use a, you're invited to join our alumni community where you can get support on reintegration and deal with reverse culture shock, like Mark said, you know, and also support on, on determining how do you weave your expertising project and experience into your, that next step in your career. How do you talk about it in a way that will, you know, like enable you to land that next job, that promotion, start that new business, have new partnerships, etc. cetera. Um, and you'll continue to have access to our industry leader webinars, um, connect with fellow alums to continue to create impact and, you know, conquer the world. <laughs> if you have founded an organization and you're recruiting for your company, you can also do that. And something that's really, really cool is as an alum, you can submit a case study or a problem to our community and crowdsource creative solutions. I mean, we have some of the most fantastic, knowledgeable, um, dedicated and passionate individuals within the team on um, positive together, we can create solutions for whichever project or um, problems your organization is looking to solve. And of course, finally, um, you're always welcome to continue to go exploring again. <laughs> we invite you to join our Moving Worlds Hall of Fame if you want to go exploring again, uh, and this time with the community support every step of the way. I think right now our record is three expertise projects. So if you can top three, that would be fantastic. <laughs> and with that, um, unless there's any other questions, I'm gonna pass the mic over to Cole to talk a bit more about our educational resources. Sweet, thank you so much, Millie. Uh, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. Everyone calling in from all over the world. Honored to be here with you. I'm calling in from the, at the moment, sunny Seattle. We're savoring it. Um, so yeah, just building off uh, some of the things that Millie shared. So really, this is an opportunity not just for people who are new to expertising, but again, to alumni, um, and really just people who want to be a part of a global community, talking more about things like human-centered design, social impact, cross-cultural leadership, and just ways to be more effective using their skills to have a greater impact in the world. So as you can see on this slide, we've got a lot of amazing topics that we're covering. Um, everything from expertising planning support to uh, digging deeper into concepts like human-centered design and community development. I mean, even telling your own personal story. We get so many people who are looking for better ways to leverage their skills, to leverage their networks, and to find a way to really increase their impact. And we bring in social impact career coaches, industry leaders, and all different kinds of folks who are a resource to you on webinars and through trainings that we provide on the community platform. So really the key points of this are that it is a self-directed learning environment. Like Millie said, you know, this is a community of busy professionals coming in from all over the world. But we also know that to be able to learn across borders and to learn online, it needs to be interactive. So we emphasize interactivity during our trainings and we try to make this really a community of give and take where people are feeling supported by their peers and learning together. Um, all of these uh, topics that we cover are designed not only to help you to express your impact more in the world, but to help you have a real impact expertising. So these will all be things that we will weave into your experience to make you more effective on the ground. And then also hopefully when you return home and continue your journey and growth as an impact driven leader. Once you return home and you've gone through these trainings, you get to keep engaging with them and you get to be a continued part of that community that Millie has talked about. The whole point of this is finding ways for you to be able to learn and grow together on an ongoing basis. Um, so if you could take it to the next slide. So just to give you all a feel for um, some of the things that you will have access to. So we have um, opportunities for people who are trying to learn more about expertising through things like an expertising 101 webinar. Um, we have expertising planning workshops. We have a program called Office Hours, which is a weekly check-in to connect with people around new uh, educational resources that are coming up, new 
um, learning opportunities and trainings, and just to workshop some of your ideas. Something that we do a lot is on and office hours, we will take expert tiers who have a field placement or working with an organization, and we will bring up some of the big questions that they're facing, and we all as a team will work together to come up with human-centered design solutions to support their work and increase their impact on the ground. So these are just some of the um, amazing uh, resources and live webinars and trainings that will be available to you. There'll be a lot of industry leaders coming in um, to share some of their insights from the field. Um, but really what this all kind of breaks down to, and as you can see in this pyramid over here, is three things. So first, it's learning theories, um, whether it's human-centered design or social enterprise or cross-cultural leadership through resources, which are readings and videos and also live workshops and trainings where we'll be bringing in industry leaders to share best practices. Um, it's also done through discussion. You know, this is a, like I said, interactive, peer-based community where we are encouraging you to flex your understanding through collaborating with other people on case-based discussions. We love case studies. We find that things like human-centered design and cross-cultural leadership are learned really well through these um, kind of interactive exercises that prepare you to ask the right questions and already to have considered some of the things that you need to learn before you get to being on the ground. Um, we also think that reflection is one of the most important parts of the whole experience. So whether it's through something like a purpose assessment or a cross-cultural awareness assessment or an article that asks you to think a little bit more about how you could create an impact, we're here to make sure that you are uh, connecting your internal values to your external impact and doing that in community and really putting it into practice. So the third piece again is taking all the things you've learned and translating that to your expertising experience. Um, and using the things you've learned, whether it's human-centered design or cross-cultural leadership, to um, bring something more impactful and at the same time use these concepts to support your peers who are also in the field trying to have an impact. Um, at the end of that, we want to help you and invite you back into this community uh, where you can return home and reflect um, and have ongoing learning that builds your career as an impact-driven professional. Um, this is such an honor to be in a community like this with all of you from all around the world. Um, and this is our basic process for how we think that we can help you increase your impact. Um, so at this point, I'd love to see if we have any questions related to learning and networking. Alexandra, is there anything that's coming up? Yes, we had a great question come through. So the question reads, for someone that wants to learn more about social enterprise, can you give an example of a workshop or a case study and how that applied to that person once they were in the field? Sure, yeah, great question, Alexander, thank you. Um, so yeah, one, one example I could give is, so um, a Moving Worlds Institute fellow who we had last year named Ashkan, he was a business consultant who had some interest in human-centered design. Um, he was uh, placed with an expertising opportunity with a social enterprise based in rural Costa Rica. Um, and he was really excited to get prepared and also learn more about social enterprise structures and also human-centered design principles to be more effective. Um, and so during his experience, he was able to go through a case study that actually um, modeled a consulting practice with a uh, social enterprise dealing with some changes and opportunities in uh, rural Latin America. So it was actually a pretty amazing direct corollary. Um, and through that process, he was able to consider with his peers and the mentorship of the Moving World team, what were some social enterprise structures that would allow that organization to be more impactful? And then what were also some human-centered design principles that he could practice so he wasn't going in with assumptions and he could really think on his feet and ask the community um, what they were really looking to do and what were some of their assets and what were some of the opportunities that they could explore. And what this actually provided to him was a real life um, ability to pivot and show up and be relevant. So when he reached the community that he was working with in Costa Rica, um, at the start, they thought they wanted to do a specific project around installing solar panels. But by using human-centered design process, Ashkan led a series of workshops and found that there was actually a bigger need around 
not only a sustainability curriculum, but other opportunities to engage the community beyond the solar panels. So in doing this, he actually was able to create a better project, a better impact, and ensure a longer term, more sustainable impact. So this is just one of the ways where the theory and the practice led to uh, a more high impact experience in the field. Um, yeah, so that, that'd be one, one example I can think of. Uh, Alexander, any other questions? That's the only one that came through, but thank you. That really helped kind of crystallize an example in real life. Appreciate it. Cool. Yeah, happy to and always happy to share um, more stories related to some of the connections between theory and practice. It's something that we enjoy doing so much. Um, so uh, with that, I would love to um, pass the mic over to, as Mark said, our longest standing program manager, the amazing Cami, who is calling in right now from Medellin, Colombia, who has helped so much to scale up our matching process and really just been a foundation of moving world. So uh, with that, I'll pass the mic over to Cami to take over. Thanks, Cole. It's been a fun journey. In addition to all the changes that you are seeing, there is a lot happening behind the scenes to help increase the quality of projects on our site and to also provide you guidance through your experience. Um, on the next slide, it shows um, uh, that, we're, that we're on. Uh, our new Expertarian Manifesto on the left helps instill the values like long-term sustainability and partnership in development that we hold dear. On the other side of our platform, we have implemented more rigorous principles and guarantees of conditions for our hosts. So on the next slide, um, on, of course, uh, the part we're most excited about, the matchmaking, members in our new plan will see a few key benefits. More guidance from our platform on how to find projects. Community support aided by our own matching team to help people identify the projects that will be best for your skills, help on your, plat uh, help on your profile, and of course using our platform to find a match. Also to help your, you know when to turn to your community and resource guide, our platform and team will nudge you when it's time to advance in your planning and learning journey. Alexandra, before jumping to the next section, do we have any questions that relate to the community? Uh, to the um, uh, to the platform magic. Yes, we had one come through. So, the question we received is, what if the question reads, what if I need help navigating the platform, or if I have a really specific ask, is there an option for kind of like extra help from a team member? Sure. So, to take your first question, um, if you need any help navigating. Uh, in addition to uh, the existing um, processes that were on our website before, where you can email our matching team at match at movingworlds.org with any questions. We'll also have uh, features in the community where you can ask your peers if they've had a similar um, question and, and to bounce ideas off of them. In terms of finding a very specific ask, we are um, getting more and more projects on our platform from, from innovative organizations that that are um, uh, solving local issues where, um, I'm sorry, that, that your question was um, a more specific ask. So uh, we also will have um, a, a couple different boards set up in the community that deal with um, specific asks like this and brainstorming scoping projects and, and finding um, projects in, in areas that, that have um, less of our partners in the field right now. Um, one I, thing I thought of, sure. sorry, we're in the same office, so we need to mute. Um, Cami, you want to mute your screen real quick? Okay, sorry, I want to make sure you guys don't get any echo, but we also have rolled out a one-on-one -on -one impact coaching and support add-on. So if you're looking for something really specific, maybe you want to go expert cheering with your partner or with a close friend, um, you just need a little extra help throughout the process. That's a great option. Um, we've revamped our, our FAQ. So if you're poking around our website, we have a bunch of specific links in there about that and kind of how adding that on, you can add it to any program, can, can kind of help you get the support you need for, for even the most specific uh, of requests. We'll, we'll do everything we can to get you taken care of. Uh, and uh, 
chiming in really quickly before the next person. One of the things that's currently on the community platform right now is uh, for the near limited future for the first eight experts who want to ask for um, feedback from the matching team about your specific project and if it's a good fit for you or not if you find the thread within the find the best project group and post your project on your profile for the first eight individuals you will get undivided attention from the matching team all right thanks back now great thanks Millie. Um, so now I, I'd like to introduce Anna, based in London, who directs our international programs. Thanks, Cami. <clears throat> Hi, everybody. Nice to meet you all um, virtually, and I hope in person. Um, so what's changed with the moving world, um, with our updates? So first of all, one big change is that we're now an application-only community. And now existing members, you've already passed our screening standards. Um, of course, but this move is about bringing clarity to the fact that our mission is to bring professional excellence to organizations that are making a real impact on the ground. And so going forward, we're becoming more clear about what these standards are for new applicants. Um, and the change is really there, first and foremost, that's to ensure that you're going to add value as an expert here on the ground with a field organization and that you're motivated to be part of the big global network, um, which we're formalizing with our community features. And then it's also our way of ensuring that we're gonna be a good partner to you. So it's a, it's a two-way commitment. And then the second big change um, that you'll see on the site is the new membership plans. So there's three options laid out. Now first, experteering. This is our basic program and it will give you access to the full database of projects, guide you through the planning and matching process, and give you premium training content to help you to grow and develop in the process. And you're going to be able to access a limited portion of our community where you can network with other experts past and present. So fundamentally, this gives you enough support to find a project and then to make a difference in the field. Now the PLUS program builds on this, and what it adds in is additional learning and networking opportunities, including ongoing workshops, live sessions, and webinars of industry leaders, as Cole laid out for us. So not only does it give you the opportunity to give your skills, but it really adds to the opportunity you have to learn and grow while you're doing that. And it gives you a wealth of connections and resources that are going to help with your personal and professional development. And then finally, the Moving Worlds Institute, that's our flagship learning program, which is just about to kick off with our first ever European cohort um, in Amsterdam. And it's geared for mid-career or senior professionals who are in career transition or at a stage of kind of acceleration, and they're seeking purpose through their career. So it builds on all of the features that are in Expertiering and Plus, a lot of content, access to the platform, um, support to find the right project to give your professional skills in the field. But it's an intensive six month program. So it starts with a three day in person training workshop and then there's six months of virtual learning, coaching, mentorship from a network of industry experts, um, industry leaders, and really tailor made support to help you make your professional move. So that's the update on the program. And Alexandra, before I pass on, are there any questions around that? Yes, we had a really good question come through actually. So the question is, as someone not familiar with Moving Worlds, can you explain what's involved with the program fees and if I'll end up having to pay anything else down the road? Great question. And it's, um, it's done that we get asked a lot. Now, the Moving Worlds model, as many of you are aware, is that we never ever charge host organizations and social impact organizations on the ground. And they should never charge you. Um, it's not a monetary transaction, it's an exchange of skills. You know, you're going in a professional capacity to offer your skills. Often, they're gonna they give you free accommodation, um, however they're able to arrange that. And sometimes there's other local benefits, so there might be meals provided, um, there might be stipends, sometimes there might even be flights provided. Um, so each opportunity is different, and the platform explains really clearly what's offered. And when it comes to the fee that we're charging you, so as you can see on this webinar with all our faces, there's a team of real people here. 
So we're working hard all the time to find the organizations, vet them, make sure their projects are fully scoped and impactful. Um, reach out to experteers, make sure that you have all the support and the information you need, continue developing learning materials and content, helping the community and delivering our programs. So that's what the, that's what the fees charge, but it's a one-off program fee that you pay for the year and you'll never be asked to pay anything else. Thank you so much, Anna. That clarified things a lot. I appreciate it. And we just had another question come through. It says, if I've already paid for the enhanced program before the new programs rolled out, the premium, uh, will we continue to receive personalized guidance in matching us to organizations and opportunities now that the new programs have rolled out? That is a great question. And I'm going to hand over to Mark um, for the, to explain what's going to happen to our existing members. Yeah, you've, uh, you've, you've, you've read our minds, actually. So um, for anybody that is an existing member, we made a commitment and a, and a promise to you with the plan, and that is being 100% honored for the length of, um, of, of your previous membership. So if you've already purchased that plan with personalized guidance, that is still absolutely committed to you. Um, and you will also have uh, very basic um, access even into um, our communities before. So anybody that is a member, um, you are more than welcome to stay as you are and continue to use the platform as you uh, uh, agree to and signed up for uh, in the past. Um, now, one added benefit for all of you as well is that you will be able to access our, our alumni community once that you finish your expert cheering project. Uh, now, if you do want to tap into any of the extra learning content and any of the extra learning guides and workshops, that's where we will ask you to um, pick a plan and upgrade. Um, so over the years, uh, we've had different memberships, we've had different programs. Um, and so it's um, uh, honestly speaking, it's just a, a little bit confusing based on your previous memberships. And so uh, what you can do is you can submit an interest for upgrade. Just let us know. Um, your, your email that you have uh, on the system. Um, the link uh, is something that we'll um, email out to everybody right after this webinar. And um, once that's done, you'll get a list of options back to you based on your existing membership. However, um, as Anna mentioned, if you've already been a member, you've already gone through kind of our application and our screening process. Um, and so there is, um, we are able to extend a discount um, as a result of that. Um, as our costs will be will be lower in guiding you through that platform. So yes, in summary, whatever you have um, uh, signed up for, you still have uh, access to plus some extra and added benefits. And uh, you know, for 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 everybody else, um, if you just have questions, uh, as Cami said, as Millie said, as Cole said, as Anna said, you know, there's there's a real team here of people um, that will will really answer any question uh, that, that you might have related to expert hearing. So, or, so um, you know, after this, if you still have questions, uh, if you want to explore different options, you can shoot us a note at, at any time. You can submit a ticket on our website uh, or you can drop us a direct email. We've also got some great kind of updated uh, frequently asked questions. If you scroll to the very bottom of our website, you'll see the link for FAQs. So, that's another good place to start, and it has lots of useful links as well, like the, the form that Mark mentioned that he'd be sending out to request upgrades and stuff like that. So we're here to help however we can through the website or, or directly. Perfect. Uh, uh, Alexander, any other questions related to uh, the program options? We'll open it up for full Q&A in, in just a moment here, but uh, were there any ladder on questions? We didn't point. have any any besides that one, but I think thanks for answering that one so thoroughly. But yeah, that's all we got. Perfect. Okay. Well, like I said, we are just about to open it up to just a general Q and A. So we'll stay on the line for for the rest of the hour here. If anybody does have questions, again, if you do ask those questions, they will be anonymized uh, as you ask them. So don't worry, your your name or others won't be um, uh, won't be shared publicly on our live broadcast. But you know, just before going into, into questions, which is when we know uh, most of you will, will start to drop out, you know, really on, on behalf of the entire team, uh, we want to extend a, a heartfelt thank you. You know, it is, it's really humbling and it's really amazing 
to constantly be surrounded by inquiries of of people who have uh, you know some up to you know forty years of incredible professional experience um, you know working let's say in in the public or combo with private sector you know looking for ways to to give back we have you know mid career director level employees who are um, you know trying to figure out how do I weave social impact into my current say consulting company or corporation and you know use their vacation to go on an expert hearing trip so they can better understand implications related to the supply chains uh, that that maybe fuel their business or, or fuel the things in their home or or in their coffee cups uh, you know we have we have people just a few years into their career who you know have hit the ground running in in finance or engineering or or marketing or sales and are now asking questions of, you know, how, how do I guide the rest of my career in a way that, that really makes an impact? And, you know, a, along the way, there's, there's so many different stories. There's so many different people for so many different reasons that have really all come to moving worlds and have put a huge amount of trust into our, our technology, into our product, into our field partners, into our team members around the world. And, you know, in doing so have found these organizations around the world that without your expertise, without your support, and, and I know there's a few of you on the call because I saw your name looking at the participant list, you know, that, that have done that, that have, you know, gone to a, a small team in, in, in Tanzania that, you know, had a, had a vision of using online edutainment videos to help teach math and English skills to millions of children across East Africa. And, and it was a small organization and, and you took a risk going there and that organization now, and, and it's one that's featured in, in the Stanford Social Innovation Review article, but you know, it's grown, it's, it's gotten to raise capital from a few different uh, global development organizations. It's expanded a, a huge local team. It's, it's brought in even more international experts and it's now growing, you know, really fueled on its own. And it's because of, you know, people like you that have, that have gone and, and committed your skills and really given your most important asset. And we take that so seriously here at Moving Worlds to make sure that you find this place that, yeah, maybe you've never heard of that organization before, um, or in some cases, even that country before where you end up going, but the application of your skills at the right time can just be so catalytic for others. And and now we're we're just so, uh, excited that that we feel like we get to invest back in you as well as a person with with more community and training and and networking and learning and 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 uh, connection. So, really, on behalf of our entire team, um, I could probably ramble for the rest of the hour, just like ooze gratitude into the into the webcam here. Um, but just thank you so much for for being a part of really this this expert hearing movement and you know every one of those every one of those stories. Um, every one of those those little lights that that are shining as a result of of your own personal story is really what's what's creating this this very powerful um, uh, movement and and opportunity for those around the world to uh, to create change and and to be changed in the process. So at this time, we'll open it up to questions. Uh, if you do have your chat widget open, you'll see that there are some links. Uh, we already get some team emails, um, so you can you can. Um, start messaging us, you can start accessing the community. Um, these changes will be continuing to roll out over the day. So as, um, as you log in, uh, if you already have an account, you'll see that, you know, maybe things start to look different. You'll be able to start tapping into some community features. Um, and certainly if you join us anew, uh, you'll have access to all those things as well. So thank you so much. And uh, if you do have any questions, please do send them our way. Um, Alexander, I'll check in with you. Do we, have, uh, uh, do we have any questions? Or Millie, as you're monitoring social media channels as well, uh, do you have any questions that have come across? Not at the moment. Millie, did you see anything come across? Seeing so, we were able to catch most of the questions during the presentation, Mark. 
Of course, I just want to say, um, if you do have any questions and you're already a part of the Moving Worlds community, feel free to pop onto community at community.movingworlds.org and just start sharing your questions down there. It's an easy way to access the entire team instead of sending individual emails. Um, and then if you are not, then you can always reach us at either support at movingworlds.org. Is that correct, Kenny? Support at movingworlds.org or match at movingworlds.org. Perfect. Well, if there aren't there aren't any questions, we won't we won't hang you uh, all on the line longer. So we'll go ahead uh, and stop the broadcast. We'll stop the share. Um, and that said, uh, I'm also just I'm just going to hang out here uh, on the webinar um, for the next uh, I guess ten minutes. So um, if anybody does want to wait till maybe I don't know more people drop off and then and then have a question, uh, uh, I'll at least stay stay on the line. Uh, for everybody else, thank you so much for joining us. Uh, we know um, an hour of your time is, is well, it's an hour of your time. It's a lot of time. It's precious time. Uh, and we're grateful that you spent that time with us today. So thank you all. And we look forward to seeing you uh, on the community.